before I start, I would like to apologize and say that uh, English is not really our uh, first uh, first language. So I will just try my best to deliver in English because there are requests to do so, especially for those who are staying abroad. Okay, so there you have it. Um, thank you very much. Okay, so... Once again, I am Dean of Pot Pot World and Accents and Petals, and it's been a week since um, the country declared a quarantine, and um, uh, we've been making these face shields for a week now. Uh, we started with a few dozens, and then eventually requests came in, became hundreds. And then now the requests are up to thousands and I don't really know if we can provide all those requests because uh, it's all dependent on the materials that are being donated to us anyway I've received requests from a lot of uh, people out there to show you to show uh, the step-by-step -step process on how to make face shields so I would uh, call out on um, Evelyn on uh, Sheila Mamaricar and especially to Shandy of uh, Cambodia and I understand that um, uh, you're going into I don't know, quarantine or lockdown also so you better get prepared so this video I uh, will show to you guys um, how we do it, how we make face shields, how you can DIY, do it yourself, your face shields with the, the materials that are available in your area. Okay, now, but first things first, I would like to share that, uh, um, especially for Shandi, okay, um, you should purchase the materials or buy the materials or look for materials as early as now because I tell you once the lockdown is in place or the quarantine is in place it is very 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 hard to find materials that you will use to make your face shields or your per, uh, PPEs personal uh, protection equipments um, that we are experiencing right now it is very hard for us to source out materials because all the department stores the educational stores are closed and um, we're pulling strings, we're using our networks just to find materials that we can use right now. Right. Okay, anyway, first things first, I will show you the materials that uh, we are using. So, uh, during the earlier days, we had a source of hard foam. This one, this is hard foam. Okay, and then we also sourced out, this is very important, PVC okay or hard plastic you can never do a good face shield without pvc of course there are a lot of diys out there like using bottle of uh, mineral water or those big five gallon bottles it's, it's also good if you can do that if you really have no materials but uh, if you have you can source out please source out this one pvc cover so i'll show you see these are these are hard plastics, PVC hard plastics, see? For those uh, we call frontliners, okay? It's good for them to have like this, clear one, okay? So there you have it, this is hard plastic. Now the cover of this is, ah, this is, this is the example, okay? PVC hard plastic. Now you can also use the... Uh, now you can also use acetate if that's what is available you can use the acetate film or any clear hard plastic okay next you need foam so this is hard foam okay and then if you do not have hard foam you can substitute it with this one okay the, the regular foam that you have or if you have a uh, a little uh, bit harder foam now what we have sourced out is this one I think this is half inch foam 
and what we did is that we taped it so inside is a double-sided tape so that it will become thicker okay and that's what we are putting it here now the thing is um, we noticed that foams are getting off okay even with the double-sided tape it's getting off so uh, what others are doing is that aside from the double-sided tape they use a glue gun they glue gun it they use a glue gun inside okay so that uh, the foam and the plastic will attach harder okay or more yeah i have two versions here this is the hard foam and this is the soft foam okay it doesn't really matter um what you use as long as you're you have the material for it now uh what we did here Okay, because it's uh, falling off even if it is supported with double-sided tape it's still falling off so what we did is that we sewed it see what we did is like this now I will show to you um, what she's doing right here so there you have it okay that's what she is doing see there now why is she sewing it so that uh, the foam will not um, get off from the plastic okay so we have discussed the foam the clear plastic and then uh, now we will go to to this one okay now this one is the one being used for tarpaulins okay so uh, we call it uh, grumet um, if you have access to this one it's better because it will secure your velcro okay it will secure your velcro but if you do not have it then there are other uh, ways on how to secure your velcro or your garter it's by sewing it's by sewing now I will show to you this one it's velcro now you can use velcro for attachment so like this okay and then you can use velcro okay if you have access to velcro please purchase them now because it's actually very useful velcro but if you do not have access to velcro then you can use a regular uh, garter we tried to source out half inch garter but we cannot find so we ended up having one fourth garter but the best garter to use is half inch or one inch okay because it's uh, more sturdier the thicker ones or bigger ones now with these garters you can make this see Okay, so this is garter and then this is velcro. Velcro and then garter. It really depends on the materials that is available in your area. Now, this is how we use this one. Okay, now we prefer a thicker, at least an inch foam or one and a half inch foam that can be used here so that. Um, there will be lesser moist here at the pvc hard plastic and as much as possible we prefer the long okay the long pvc plastic so that it will cover the entire area of the face because if we will use the short one we we did a short one and it's just here okay it's just here so better use the longer pvc plastic okay so there you have it now, if worst comes to worst, uh, you do not have Velcro, you do not have um, garter, then you can use other means, other materials, sorry, other materials like ribbon. Can, you can tie it here, but this would be the last option. Okay, if you are a frontliner, or people working at the, the hospital or 
um, security like policemen or uh, if you are at the front line it's very hard to work if this the ribbon is always um, being tied okay it's better still to use garter or velcro okay okay now I'll show you this ones so these are going to be delivered to our first responders frontliners medical doctors okay uh, nurses so they will use this one and then thing is right now you should already prepare for your face shields your face mask your PPEs because I tell you you will be overwhelmed you will be overwhelmed as early as now that there is no lockdown there is no quarantine you prepare as early as now and also calling on all social uh, entrepreneurs it's this is the time that we help our community so there you have it um, now right now as you can see there's we're trying to find ways on how we can make the sewing faster so we borrowed a machine so that we can uh, sew okay, the, this one here thing is the grumet the grumet here the grumet it's uh, very hard to find because not everyone has access to um, hardwares where you can buy this one or educational uh, stores where you can buy this one so our next batch of uh, face shields would be already uh, garter and uh, it will be sewed on the hard plastic so there there you have it this is a long video but i hope it's worth it um please pass this one to those who, who need it to those who would like to create their own personal face masks uh sorry personal face shields uh the process is basically the same the materials is what you can uh, source out just do it yourself and also we are thankful to all kind-hearted people who are donating to this cause in kind or in cash thank you very much to all of you without you guys without your help and support it will be very hard for us to make this face shields so thank you very much and uh, keep safe everyone okay so to give you um, the details of the materials that uh, you will use for your face shield okay this one it's hard plastic it's pvc hard plastic or if you do not have pvc hard plastic and use acetate next velcro okay velcro this one um, an example of this velcro is here okay so velcro see it secures your head better with velcro okay an alternative if you do not have velcro then use garters okay um, we prefer the thicker ones if you can get uh, the thicker ones so this is okay, garter okay garter or if you do not have garter one inch garter if you don't have one inch garter then use the half inch garter but because you know we cannot source out those garters because they're all most of the department stores are closed what we found are the one fourth garter and you know since this is diy this is what we will use on the next face shields okay so there you have it garter velcro uh, pvc plastic then the foam when it comes to uh, the foam um, it's up to you uh, if you have hard foam then you can use the hard foam this is an example of the hard foam here sorry and then this is the soft foam okay sample is this one this is the soft foam so this is around 10 inch I think no? Yeah. this is uh, 10 inches long okay and then uh, since this is uh, what we got it's half inch foam we had to put double uh, sided tape inside and then we taped it like that okay so it becomes thicker and this is 10 inch long it's good for 
the forehead okay 10 inch long so you have to source out your foams already there are a lot of diy masks out there that we saw that they do not have foam actually it's still uh, we would still recommend that you source out foams because uh, if you do not have a uh, if if the plastic has no distance from the forehead so um, it will uh, every time you talk or you breathe there will be moist so it's it's better if it's a little bit farther from the forehead okay now if you do not have um, this kind of foam or the soft foam then you can use this these foams okay these are uh, insulating foam I think and then you can use it for your forehead see so it really uh, shows your um, ingenuity or your innovativeness on how you can use or do your own uh, DIY face shield and then of course don't forget your double-sided tapes okay double-sided tapes and then if needed be use your glue stick and glue gun or anything that can uh, that can tighten up your uh, or anything that you can put here so that it will stick better okay so those are basically the materials that we use now there are times that the foam will get off the clear plastic that's why we also sew it inside okay we sew the foam with the plastic okay you see we sew the foam with the plastic so that it will not fall off the foam will not fall off so there you have it those are the basic materials that we use for our face shields for those who requested for this video for our um, Filipino Filipina friends outside of the Philippines who are still beginning to be on lockdown or quarantine please as early as now I tell you you will be overwhelmed so please as early as now prepare your face mask prepare your face shields prepare your um, PPEs your protective equipments because once the lockdown or the quarantine happens it's very very hard to source out materials it's very hard to find clear plastics very hard to find garters very hard to find velcro double-sided tape because everything is closed everything is closed and you will if you're not uh, if you do not have connections to these department stores you will have no materials to use so as early as now source out your materials and create your protective equipment as early as now don't wait for the lockdown don't wait for a quarantine okay you make it right now and protect yourselves also please listen to your government officials if they say you stay at home then you stay at home okay um, a lot of us here in the Philippines thought that uh, you know it's just bleh. you can just go out like that but actually there are a lot of um, corona COVID-19 positive PUIs of persons under investigation um, came from gatherings now please please here in the Philippines uh, we were overwhelmed okay and uh, many of those who got positive or who are under investigation are have attended the uh, gathering so if the government says you stay at home please stay at home but anyway um, that's it I'm sorry for my very long video I hope but I hope I have sent the message to you guys so create your personal face shields as early as now DIY it the government can provide PPEs but uh, they cannot provide for everyone they will be overwhelmed I tell you thank you thank you very much and please share this video to those who need it